Well, so far, the Washington State Hospitals Association has been working around the clock in order to get a better idea of where these masks have gone in order to make sure that they don't actually make it out to the health care workers. But the fact that this is even happening is leaving some health officials in Washington frustrated. A demoralizing announcement for many health care workers in Washington and across the country. Over the weekend, the Washington State Hospital Association announced that they had purchased over 300,000 fake masks with plans to distribute them to dozens of hospitals. The masks were determined to be fake by 3M, who sent out a notice last Friday that fake N95 masks were circulating in the national supply. After the news, safeguarding workers who may have put themselves at risk became a number one priority. So far, the data that we have seen does not show an increase in COVID cases among our staff. However, as June noted, um, the hospitals are offering um, testing to anyone who's been wearing these masks. Yet, while health officials are working to keep the fake masks out of hospitals, concerns are now turning to how healthcare facilities can determine whether or not a mask is real or fake, and if they're even prepared to make that call. I think testing these would be difficult for a hospital system to do. Uh, because it's gonna, you're going to need to have uh, some viral-like particles or virus to test in, uh, in some kind of a controlled situation. So uh, this would be more of a research aspect in a lab. But as officials scramble to ensure the validity of the masks in circulation, an air of disappointment has emerged, as healthcare workers know that this could easily destroy the trust health officials took so long to build, not only with the public, but with their own staff. To have to reintroduce fear and anxiety to our clinicians who are out there taking care of their communities because someone chose to try to make money off of this situation is really highly frustrating. Now that CHI Franciscan did release a statement earlier today saying that they did receive some of the masks in question. However, they said that fortunately none of those masks have gone into use and the ones that are in question have been sequestered and isolated from the rest of the inventory and they have been reported for further investigation. The statement goes on to say that they echo the frustrations of the WSHA and that any actions that willingly put the uh, the uh, the lives of the frontline workers and by extension their patients at risk is completely unacceptable. For now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.